In this video for the SQL Fundamental Series, we'll look at logical operators in the WHERE clause. That means using the word AND, OR, uh, and the word NOT. So you'll need your Oracle account and access to the HR schema and the student teams database that we uh, set up in previous videos. The WHERE clause allows you to filter output when you're pulling data from a table or several tables and you can do a single criterion or you can have several criteria. So now we'll look at situations where you have more than one criterion. The AND operator specifies that two conditions must be met. For example, I want to see a list of employees who are in marketing and who were hired before 2005. So the two criteria are that department equals marketing and the hire date is prior to January 1st of 2005. The OR operator specifies that at least one condition must be met. Both may be, but only one has to be. So in this example, let's look at employees who work in the Southwest or Northwest regional office. So office location would be equal to Southwest or office location is equal to Northwest. So we can take a look at or lay out in a table format whether or not data will be displayed based on the operator and whether or not one of the two conditions has been met. This table display is also referred to as truth tables. So if condition 1 is not met, as we see here with no, and condition 2 is not met, the result is not to display. In other words, filter the data. If condition 1 is met and condition 2 is not met, you still will not display the data. It will be filtered out. If the condition 1 is uh, not met and condition 2 is met, still don't display data. You only get the display when both conditions are met. That's the use of the AND operator. By comparison, if you look at the table for the OR operator, if condition 1 is not met and condition 2 is not met, we're going to filter the data out. It won't display. But if condition 1 is met and condition 2 isn't, we will display. If condition 1 is not met but condition 2 is, we will display, and if both conditions are met, both say yes, then we'll display. So there's quite a bit of difference between use of the AND operator and the OR operator and whether or not you're going to see data. So let's look at an example here. Let's show students in the IT pros team that also have an information systems major. So the operator is AND. Our statement says select and provides the columns we want to see from the students table where student team ID equals IT pros in single quotes and student major is equal to ISYS which is the abbreviation for that major and we see the output here and we're showing three people so the next thing you might ask yourself though is how can you verify if this output is correct? So let's switch over to SQL Plus and we'll take a look at this. So I'm going to paste in the command that we saw in the PowerPoint slide and I will run that command. And we get a list of three students. Now let's try verifying that output. And one way to do this would be to modify the command and drop the ISIS uh, comparison. And let's see just which students are in the IT Pro team. So, IT Pros. So, we take a look at that. And we see that we actually have more than the three that were listed. We have Andrew Agassi, who's in marketing, and we have Ryan Federer, who's in computer science. So, we're pretty confident that our output is correct. Now we're going to ask the question, which students are majoring in computer science or in accounting? And this is our SQL. Select the columns we want to see from students the table where student major equals computer science or student major equals accounting. And we get a result here that uh, Teresa and Ryan 
are either in computer science or in accounting. Let's try running that in SQL Plus. So I'm getting the same result there that I showed in the PowerPoint slide. Now let's do a combination using OR with AND. Let's show students majoring in accounting or marketing and they are in Team IT Pros or Sys System Designs. So here is our initial SQL statement. We've listed our columns in the SELECT clause. We've listed the table in uh, the FROM clause. Now we say WHERE and we've listed student major equal to accounting or student major equal to marketing and student ID equal to IT pros or student I uh, team ID, I mean, equal to uh, systems design. Now, if you take a look at this output, which may be a little hard to see here in the small uh, screenshot, but we are seeing students who aren't in accounting and who aren't in marketing. We are seeing students who aren't in IT pros and, or in sys systems design. So there's a problem with our output. And this is uh, a common issue that you have to keep in mind whenever you're using the OR operator in conjunction with other logical operators. So the solution is simply to remember that whenever you're using OR operators to evaluate, you should always, always put parentheses around those, uh, op those evaluations, those criterion. Student major equal to accounting or student major equal to marketing. Then outside that parenthesis, put the AND operator because this is what the major is and what the team ID is, but the team evaluation of either IT pros or system design should be in parentheses. And we actually find out there's only one student that meets all meets that criterion. So let's try that over in SQL Plus. So I've pasted in the two uh, versions. First without the parentheses, and I can run that. And I see this output that doesn't seem quite right based on what we're actually trying to find. Then I put the parentheses around the evaluation for student major and the parentheses around the evaluation for team ID. I run that query. And I get my output, the correct output. The third operator is not, and you can use not to negate an evaluation, as in students not in IT pros. So we're going to show students who are not in IT pros and they're not in uh, system designers. And this would be our output, and we can verify that by looking at the team ID. So what we've looked at here is uh, the use of logical operators in the WHERE clause. The AND operator, the OR operator, which we always want to put parentheses around if we're using the OR operator in conjunction with any other logical operators. And we also looked at the an example of using NOT.